Okay guys, welcome back to another Fast Math video. This is going to be a quick lesson or practice problems for the guys that ask for them. So I, I took some time out of uh, my busy night to get this up. Um, so please pause the video or uh, rewind it, whatever you have to do. I suggest if uh, the guys that uh, ask for this video, that you guys pause the video, try to work out these problems yourself. And then let me go over it with you to double check it. Okay, let's get started. Anyways, um, we learned that with adding and subtracting, that we have to have the same denominators, the bottom number right here of the fraction. They have to be the same. And you can learn to find those on my, my first videos on adding and subtracting as well. But most people are quick enough to catch on by just... Um, watch and you know if they don't get it the first time they'll get it the second. Okay so we need to find the least common denominator. If you won't skip that part for now because you don't understand it, just take these two bottom numbers on adding and subtracting and multiply them. It's going to make it a little bit harder on uh, you know getting the answer but it will give you the right answer. You multiply these two and then put uh, that for your denominator. But I happen to know that 8, I mean, I'm sorry, that 4 can go in itself and it can go into 8 as well. So we're going to put 8 for the denominator, for the least common denominator. Make sure you put a division on the bottom of our fractions. This is to remind us until we get used to it and a multiply on top. Now we're going to go from left to right, which is the opposite, a real division. But this is just to remind us because it can be confusing. We're going to divide this side into this side. 8 will go into 8 one time. And this says 1 times 1 is 1. It tells you what to do so you never get lost. Uh, 4 will go into 8 twice. And 3 times 2 is 6. All we have left now that we found our common denominator is to add the top numbers because the bottom numbers on adding and subtracting, when they are the same, we found that the common denominator we just drop it down. Add the top. 6 plus 1 is 7. So that wasn't too hard. That was pretty simple, right guys? Okay, subtract in the same way. Uh, we know that 5 can go into itself and it can also go into 10. So we're going to use 10 here. Or if you if ever you get in a bind and this is a quick thing, just multiply the bottom numbers it would be 50 at the bottom. It just more work that way. Put your division and multiply, division and multiply, division bottom, multiply top. We go the opposite way of normal division and we say how many times will 5 go into 10? And it goes twice and we put that up top. And that reminds us we need to multiply 4 times 2 to get 8. How many times will 10 go into 10? And it go one time, we write that up top and then 9 times 1 is 9. The only thing we have left now is to drop the denominator and to subtract 8 from 9, which is 1. So this is your answer. Okay, guys, on the multiplying, remember this, okay? Let me see, where can I put it? I'm going to put it right here on our multiplying, that's a dot. You can, I like to reduce beforehand, and you can reduce cross or up and down only. You cannot reduce, a, you can only multiply across. You cannot reduce across. So, what we want to do before we ever multiply or divide, uh, well, multiply, is we want to try to reduce this. So, we know that 2 can go into itself and 2 can go into 8 four times. We just made it a lot simpler by doing that. 7 can go into 14 in itself. So 7 can go into 7 one time, 7 can go to 14 twice. Now all we have left is to multiply across. That's going to be 1 times 1 and 4 times 2. And um, then we have division left. Division is what everybody else has trouble with. My son's trying to talk to me. Sorry guys, I'm not crazy. Anyways, um, and I come up with a solution here that I want you to write down and that's WMF. This will remind you that 
Wayne may fail if he does not flip this second number. So let's uh, go ahead and what we're going to do is the W stands for write it out again. What you start to write it out, 20 over 50. Multiply, change it to multiply here. M stands for that. And then we're going to flip it, the second one, which is going to be 10 over 5. Then we need to reduce it. So 5 will go into 5 once, and 5 will go into 24 times. 10 will go into 10 once, and 10 will go into 55 times. All you do now is you mul uh, multiply it across. And it was that simple. So remember the W, M, F. All right, thanks guys. Subscribe or uh, or like. My son's being a retard. I'm sorry. <laughs> Turn on.